Hello. So with this video, uh, I just wanted to make a goal, uh, uh, make a video on how to uh, kill Vardorvis. Now this is post quest Vardorvis. Um, now if we go to the collection log on this account, I have 676 kills for Vardorvis. So I've killed him quite a bit. Um, I've gotten two axe heads. I've gotten the Ultor Visage. Um, now, comparatively, my stats are pretty high, but they're not, you know, as, you know, they're not as high as they can be. Um, the gear I'm using, doing this in is just a Serp Helm, Fire Cape, Blood Fury, Torso, Blood Moon Tassets, Dragon Boots, a Light Bearer, fero uh, Ferocious Gloves, and Burning Claws. And for my main weapons, I have the Abyssal Tentacle and a Varnic Defender. Now, spec weapon for this fight is, um, I really like the Burning Claws. Of course, you can use the ZGS, the Zaros Godsword, the one you get from Nex, because if they don't move, uh, it does 25 damage and you get healed for 25. Um, and Vardorvis doesn't move too often unless he's doing one of his special attacks where he zips across the map and um or you can use like a, a void waker the thing with the void waker is though the first attack you want to do like a regular auto attack then spec if you spec at least when i was using it uh you would hit zeros for like the opening attack now a lot of people will say oh well you use the burning claws at the end of the fight I personally have always liked to use all three specs in the beginning, and since I use a light bearer, I get two more towards the end of the fight, so it's uh, like five specs total. Um, now, a lot of people struggle because a lot of things happen with Vardorvis. He has the special attack where he throws his axes, and... Uh, he causes spikes to come up from the ground. That's why these squares are marked because the, their entrance is right there just so you can orientate yourself. This is my preferred safe spot. So you want to attack them and then you want to stand here and then when the axes come you want to dodge uh, accordingly. Now a lot of people get stressed out with all the axes going around um, and his like spike attack where he dashes around that does a lot of damage. The only special attack you have to worry about is the head. Um, when his head pops up, it shoots an arrow. So you have to go from protect melee to protect range and then back to protect melee. Um, but people die and they get frustrated with this boss because they're trying to axe skip and dodge the axes. The axe skip is if you're standing here and an axe spawns right here and another axe let's say spawns here um, what you do is you click on this one and then you run back so you basically skip through the axe. You can do it this way go back. Now the reason why these safe spots are marked one space away from the pillar is because walking here takes more time than going like that. Because you skip this step when you're if you have run turned on basically. So that's why you want to have these. So you can actually move out of the way of this axe because um, if you click here you'll get hit. Now, if you're going for the Ultor, um, if you're going for an axe piece, or just trying to get some kills, you know, down, while you're learning, I highly suggest, um, don't worry about multiple kills per run. Once you get your tablet, the teleport, let me show you on the ring, I'll, I'll run back through. When you have your teleport for the Stranglewood, and you click it, it takes you right here so you just click the entry there that's a shortcut to Vardorvis um, you 400 maybe more of my kills were one kill trips um, if you're not that good with the mechanics if you don't have the best gear it can be very stressful to try to get more than one kill. So my main suggestion is just 
to avoid that. Um, so I'm going to show you how the fight works. I'm going to go through it. Of course I'm recording, so I'm probably going to die. But uh, let's see if we can get a kill. So what I like to do is I stand in front of him. For my quick prayers, I have Protect from Melee and Piety set up. So I turn my prayer on, I drink my potion, I summon my thrall, and then we just we just put work in. Now this is, that's one of his special attacks. You, you want to make sure you, you break all the baubles. See, so do the prayer switch. If it that hits you, um, it turns off your prayer. If you have full health, honestly, just stand there. Spam click the uh, melee prayer until it turns back on. See, so I accidentally walked into that axe. Oh, that's actually a really good drop for making this video, 100 Dragon Dark Tips. Now, see, I didn't get a perfect kill um, by any stretch of the meaning. Um, but what I did is I got the kill. I got hit by the axe, and as long as you have your melee prayer up, um, the axe does considerably less damage. Yes, there is some damage over time um, when you're first starting out. Uh, Guardian Boots and a rig, uh, Ring of Suffering uh, recoil is very helpful. It out damages his heal because when he does damage to you, he gets a little bit of self heal. It's kind of like he has a, a Blood Fury on. Um, now, one tip I would like to give is let's say you have an axe spawn here, here, and here. So it's going to be an axe coming this way, an axe coming this way, an axe coming this way. And then you see the axes spawn at the same time the head spawns. You have a couple seconds to move. Move, you would move here in that alignment. Because this axe would go this way, this axe would come here, and this axe would come over this way. And towards the end of it, there's a maximum amount of axes is three. The minimum is one, but if your specs, uh, with your spec weapon, if you open it up like I do, they land, he immediately moves into uh, two. Um, I don't know the exact numbers, I do apologize, but I believe he goes, uh, the head starts to summon after you get him below 550 HP. Um, so move first, prayer switch second. Because like I said, if you dodge the axes, um, you know, if you get hit by that 
prayer cancel. Uh, it, it's not the worst thing, but don't try to do everything. Pick one. If you want to switch your prayers first and then move, um, you can do that. I move first and then I switch my prayers. You just have to try to keep control of what you're doing, and it's really not that bad. Now, I went through enough, a lot of food here. I personally wouldn't feel comfortable going through and doing another kill. So to show you what I do, just to close out this video, if I have my home teleport tab. So I teleport to my house. I drink at my pool. I equip my spec weapon because it takes these two item spots are taken up. I have the great exchange for my personal setup. And then I just go to the bank and I redo uh, my potions and everything. So I would take out this, put one back, deposit these, and then I'm restocked ready to go back and then I click up here you can zoom all the way out click on the base don't worry about them hitting you you get hit by like a four or four or two you know anything like that and you just come back and you're it's so fast once you have that tablet and if you're lucky, you get it within the first couple kills. I got really spooned. I got mine by my third kill of Ardorvis. Um, but yeah, that's my super lazy guide to getting a kill. Um, it's nothing to stress out about. It's not that bad. And uh, good luck to you. Uh, I hope it works out. If you have any more questions, if there's any other bosses that you, you know, would like a video made for, skipping all of that crazy over the top you know professional min maxing stuff and just getting the kill um let me know and i'll show you how i would do it because uh, like i said for this boss one at a time is perfectly fine um if you keep grinding it out um you'll make your money back let me see what the old tour is currently at yeah if you're doing it for money 185 mil isn't that bad uh, let me see if I still have my drops for Vardorfus pulled up. I know I tracked a bit of him, but let me see. Uh, I guess I reset it. I had uh, quite a few stacked up, but I guess I reset, reset them. Um, you know, you'll make your money. Look at that. In those two kills, 282k. I definitely got lucky with that because, you know, I don't always see dragon dart tips. But yeah, as always, toodles, and I hope you have a wonderful day.